One of the hardest things to do as a Christian, probably the hardest thing, not one of the hardest things, is to trust the Lord even when it doesn't look right. Looking at John the Baptist, we can see his ministry. We all know about his ministry. Number one, he went out into the desert. He went to the wilderness by himself and he preached. And he preached a simple message, which was repent, that change is at hand, that the kingdom of heaven is at hand, meaning that we have the ability to turn this thing around and trust God at any time if we're willing to do so. And by repent, he meant not to be sorrowful, sorrowful for, what, for what we did, but to have a change of heart, a change of mind, a change of thinking, a change of doing. And many came um, to him. And in fact, so many people came that Jesus showed up. That's why you must not ever give up what you're doing. It may be great and prosperous. It may be overwhelming. We can become afraid at these times. John didn't. Don't become afraid if you're succeeding. Don't become afraid if, if, if you've found something wonderful. Don't run off and, and, and run away from it. Stand pat. And that's what John did. We, we often have the ability to, to stand when things go wrong. Because we're taught that in, in, as, as Christians. But are we taught to stand when things are great? That's another skill we should learn, which John displayed beautifully. But things are going to happen to John even greater. Things are going to happen to you that are going to be even greater, especially when you're doing what you're supposed to do. Something happened to John that was even greater than his success with people. And he found it slightly challenging to trust God, to let go, to send the thing that he was supposed to send. Jesus showed up means that Jesus waited in line like the rest of the people to be baptized. And when John saw him, John says, hey, stop. Go no further. It's, it is I that needs to be baptized by you. But Jesus tells him these simple words in Greek. He said, send now. And when we read it in the Bible, King James says, suffer it to be so for now. Some say, permit it to be so for now. But in the Greek, the Lord Jesus Christ said, send now. Let it go now. Divorce yourself from it. Allow it to be now. And Jesus said, furthermore, so that all righteousness may be fulfilled, uh, fulfilled with us. That is what the Lord wants you to do when it comes time to trust him. You see, because what Jesus is saying, what he's saying to us, what he's saying always, what he's, he said since the beginning, I am in this thing with you. That is not for you to carry all the burden. Jesus wanted to show John that, that, that he is the one who will who will take the place of all these baptisms, of, of all these sins, that it is his place, that when, once Jesus Christ steps into the place of the sinful man, the sinner man, he's not only setting an, an example, he's prophesying what he's here to do. He was there to fulfill his prophecy so that all might receive righteousness. Sometimes when we're about doing our business, we're concerned with what we might need for our righteousness. We, we want to work out our salvation with, with fear and trembling, go into our closet. But there's a higher calling for us, and that higher calling is to trust God, is to send it now. I don't care if, if it's your tithe, if it's the, the very thing of trust, if it's your pride, let it go. If it's a, these are strongholds, because all, it's about all righteousness in what we do. It wasn't about John's. It wasn't about yours. And you're going to find yourself in circumstances where you're going to stop back and say, whoa, this is bigger than what I thought it would be. This is greater than what I thought it would be. All you have to do is trust the Lord and deliver. Deliver it. Send it now. Don't be concerned about whether it fit within your plan. Don't be concerned about that. It's not your place. But the kingdom of heaven is at hand. The Lord Jesus is saying to you right now, the thing that you're supposed to do, that you're afraid to do, that you think you're not good enough for, he asks you to send it now. He asks you to stand and deliver. He asks you to do what you're supposed to do because it's not about you. And sometimes we feel it's about us, but it's not about us. It's for all righteousness to be fulfilled. Father God, give us the ability to stand firm and to trust you and to send it now. Whatever it is that we're holding back, Allow us to send it now. Lift our hearts that we can be courageous and, and, and bold in this thing, O oh God, and allow you to direct us to send it now. We love you, we thank you, and we adore you. And in your holy name we pray. Amen.